Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lessia75, the Black Unicorn. You guys may see me look this way a lot and it's just simply because I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't know how to really do this so I'm looking straight directly at you. So don't hate on me, don't hate on me. <laughs> okay, today's video I'm bringing to you because of the last video I made talking about tech in Ghana and the response I got from it and the uh, requests I got to make a little bit more videos talking about um, technology and tech in Ghana. So that's what I'm going to do. So today we're going to talk about how to make your online business work in Africa using cloud computing. Specifically, we're talking about Ghana right now. Apply to anywhere you go, whether it's Africa or Asia or Europe, wherever, because technology is technology and it works everywhere as long as you have an internet connection and electricity so you can charge your laptop <laughs> okay so talking about doing a business in ghana and you know that your business is going to be online based meaning that you have to have a website you have to have a bit uh, ability to track who your customers are what products and services you're selling to them how they're using your products and services you need to be able to take payment um, you need to be able to give refunds if necessary, uh, and you just need to be able to operate. Uh, this is the 21st century, right? We're in 2020. I mean, 2020 may be trash, but we're still in 2020, right? So that means that your black ass should be using technology. I'm just saying, you know, I just put it out there. And yes, I'm not two minutes in and I already use a little word. <laughs> Get over it. Okay. So anyway, so as we talk about technology, I think it's really important to understand cloud computing. And cloud computing is something that you guys probably heard. Because if you have an iPhone or Android or whatever, they'll say, oh, you can save all your pictures to the cloud. You can save all this to this cloud. We have that cloud. There's clouds all around. Yeah, no, it's not what you look up at and you see in the sky like, oh, there's clouds. It's going to be rain. And no, I'm not trying to make it rain on them. Oh. Okay, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to do any of that. I'm just saying cloud computing is basically providing you a full infrastructure for your business. Back in the day, people would have to buy these big giant boxes called servers and be able to place them in these buildings or these rooms that were fully air conditioning so that they can operate. It took a shit ton of people to connect the networking services so that you have internet access and can trans transmit data from one place to another. Now that's not the case. Now you have Amazon Web Services. <laughs> now you have Google Cloud Platform and that's what I'm about to show you in a second. You have these resources to be able to spin up a full business in minutes, literally, without even having tech skills. Now, disclaimer, I don't want you to think that you can do a full business using the cloud and don't know how to do any type of technology or understand technology. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you don't have to be a full-fledged programmer in order to start your business online based using Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud Platform. Now, both of these services allow for you to be able to, one, have a place to host your website, two, have a place to store and collect data, three, have a place to connect with pay payment providers, and those are basically called API gateways for payment. Um, and four, it allows you to do a bunch of cool stuff with analytics so that you can see all your data and matrix and all things like that, as well as like artificial intelligence and machine learning. So that means that if you need help, a bot automatically pops up on someone's screen and says, how may I help you with a cute little cartoon avatar? And that person is chatting with that bot and that information comes back to you at some point, but you don't have to be there in real time for that to happen. That's artificial intelligence using machine learning. Just saying. You can do all these with cloud computing, with using AWS and Google Cloud Platform, either using one of those particular companies and the services within it, or combining the services from the two companies, which is Amazon Web Services and Google Cloud Platform. You combine it and you use the things you want to use or need. 
Like, do you need to have storage? Do you need to be able to provide video content to people and be able to host that video content and have hundreds, thousands of people access the video at the same time without you having to put it on YouTube? Yeah, you can do that with cloud storage. Do you need to be able to create an application, meaning a software application or a mobile app application for a customer and you need to be able to do your programming or your coding in real time, you can do that over the browser. I hope you're not using a browser. Or you can use that using your individual IDE, right? Now, some of you already know, I'm losing you, I'm losing you. You're like, what the hell is she talking about? Like, I don't even know what's, what's popping. Yo, this the, I understand, but watch the video so your girl can get paid from the ads. <laughs> Why are you playing games? <laughs> No, but I'm doing this to help people understand that what you do over there in the West, you can do right here in Africa too. Yes, the internet has issues, but the internet works. I provide you these videos on YouTube using my data credit that I have here in Ghana, basically straight from my phone. Okay, so if it works and it allows me to do live chats with you guys, then hello, you can definitely do some programming without a problem. However, I will say this, which is facts. If you have a large media file or large files, it takes forever for those files to download and to upload more importantly. The upload time can take hours. <laughs> so if you are in an area though, in Ghana in particular, especially here in Accra, and then Kumasi as well, that's on 4G and broadband, and you're being able to connect using your ethernet cord, you can have faster uploads. I don't live in an area that has broadband, so I can't get it, because y'all, I tried to get it, and when the follow phone people came out, they was like, oh, we don't even service fiber optics out here. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. Looked up at the pole and was like, oh, they stripped y'all copper. We can't even get the regular landline internet. <laughs> You know, you know, they be stealing that copper like crazy, though, know, in the States. So we already know what that's like. Um, but anyway, you can still function and operate here using cloud computing. So let's go to and look at the cloud computing options you have. So here you have Amazon Web Services. When you just Google Amazon Web Services, you see the home page here. On the home page, it allows you to say you can get started for free. But before you even get started, why don't you learn a little bit about it? Amazon Web Service has a bunch of information and documentation on how to use their products. Now, I'll tell you, yeah, their, doc, their docs are garbage, but there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube about how to use Amazon Web Services from people who do really good explaining how to use it. A little research and some time to do this thing, you guys can build great applications, great things using um, cloud computing. And so when you scroll down to AWS, you see they have a ton of options. I suggest you start at Compute because you're going to need an instance to be able to run your services. And there you start at Amazon EC2 and then you go from there. Now, we're not talking about serverless here. We're talking about the basics at the basic level. And that is using a regular instance, which is Amazon EC2, which means that you have an actual server of your own. The big box I talked about earlier. You have your own server to store all your content for your business and make sure everything's working properly. Basically, that's how that put, puts that. Okay, and so if you scroll down, you just can see some of the things. Like right now, you'll see that they're advertising or showing you some of the companies they work with. Peloton is huge. I want a Peloton bike so bad. The bike's like three grand and shit. I'm like, girl, bye. I will pay for that membership. It's like $100 and then get on my little bike and just be like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> pretending like I'm riding with them. <laughs> but maybe one day your girl will get a Peloton. But anyway, they're showing you how Peloton can be used or is using AWS to make sure that people can get the content live for the classes when it comes to the spin classes and riding the bikes for the exercise and being able to see the leaderboards, who's riding faster, who's doing what, and just being interactive and engaged. And I say that to you because so many companies, big, small um, startups use 
AWS. One you will know for sure is Airbnb uses AWS. Netflix uses AWS. There are so many companies that use AWS, I can't even count. If you use a big company, they're using an AWS product. Uh, so let's jump over to cloud computing. Okay, cloud computing for Google. So Google's cloud computing is called Google Cloud Platform. And Google Cloud Platform, they got a bunch of ish, right? They got too much shit, in my opinion. But Google has a great set of videos on getting started with the platform on YouTube. I suggest you watch it if you're interested. And I mean, they break it down from the beginning. Their content coming straight out of Google is better than the content coming from regular YouTubers, in my opinion. Because I, I, I think they simplify it in short bits to make it easier to understand and learn. This is another platform you have access to. And when you're doing Google Cloud Platform, you can just browse, peruse, see who's using them, why they're using them, how they're using them, Target uses them, you know, Vodafone uses them. I was just talking about Vodafone, right? <laughs> um, and then they show you the countries that their servers are actually in, meaning their data warehouse centers that they have, which are these large warehousing farms that take up a shit ton of land, like hectares of land with buildings on them and nothing but servers inside. And super secure both AWS and Google to make sure that they are compromising people's data. Now, I'm not going to get into the security portion of cloud computing right now, but I will tell you for a business, it is very safe to start with it. As you grow, you do need to be applying best practices for security to your content, to your site, to your services you have with these cloud platforms, or you open yourself up to be compromised, which means hacked. So. There you got it. These are the things that can go ahead and get you started, guys, on doing your online business. And what's nice about this is that both, both services offer the ability to do this for free. Like literally they give you credit or they tell you you have a year worth of services for free. If you stay within our free tier, you can't beat that with a stick. It lets you try. It lets you fail. It lets you do a super duper F up. And then it lets you learn. And from that, you can build your business slowly but surely using services that are absolutely free that everybody else uses, but not too many black folks are using it. And I don't know why. Get on that technology bandwagon because stop being users of technology and be creators of technology. This is what I used to tell my students all the time when I have them in class. You need to be creators of technology. That's why we're learning programming. That's why we're learning coding. That's why we're learning the fundamentals. When you're a creator of the technology, the wealth that comes from the applications built and sold goes to you and not to the white man first and then come back to you with pennies. Just saying. So I hope this helps somebody. I hope you found it informative. I am going to be producing more in-depth content on technology and using it for business and consulting on Black Unicorn Academy. That will be um, something that's coming in the future and it will have its own membership tier. Um, but more importantly, I will have um, on my other business, um, Reg Theory, which I'm going to start promoting pretty soon, We'll have a bunch of security related content, teaching people how to use security and how to progress with it in different areas when it comes to being here on the African continent. So uh, I'll speak more to that as it launches, but for now, I'm building out that training material for you to be able to use. Please know, please don't contact me directly asking me to review your code, asking me to be your partner, asking me if I will be your consultant. I won't. Uh, if I decide in, in the future to, to provide coaching services to people, uh, I want you to be aware that I know full well that my skill set is extremely unique and very valuable. I know my value. So for me, if you ever consulted with me, if you ever got coaching from me, it would not be cheap. It will come at a cost because what you will get in return will be of great value to you. But for now, I'm not doing that. So please don't contact me asking me to do this and that for you because I'm not. I'm giving you this information so you guys can be aware of what's happening on the ground because there are a lot of young businesses here using cloud computing. It's how they're getting the ability to test, see what works, and to scale. 
and it allows them to pivot, change when needed to meet the demands of the market. And that's exactly what you can do when you come here to Ghana. So thank you guys for joining. Please make sure to go over to theblackunicorn.org. Check out the Black Unicorn Academy where you learn information about living, working, investing, and building in Ghana. Uh, it is a community where I provide content specifically for the academy that is outside of the content of YouTube. That means I'm providing video content, resources, and we have a monthly call with all of our members to really talk about um, progression and just uh, like-minded things when it comes to being B1 Focus, coming to Africa to help build nations. So, thanks guys. Madasi! <laughs> Bye.